Minecraft gives you tons of possibilities. And I am not only talking about the design. If you look behind success of this game, it's been the community. Community full of creative minds who made mods and plugins. And to control them, you can use the command line or chat. So I've decided to call my own command line asset for Unity 3D in C Sharp. This asset will be for free to download for a link in the description. But I recommend you watching this time lapse, where I explain how I made this work and how you can build on top of that, so you can make your own commands. They can be useful even after debugging your game, when you release it to public. In the beginning, I decided to code the log first. It contains a couple of functions for writing, clearing and displaying the history. The next step was to create an abstract class for our commands. That means we can stack our commands into a dictionary, despite each of these commands will have its own class. I've also made a player class, so we can test our commands later. After everything is finished, we can move to coding the core of our command line system. Of course, everything is static, so it can be accessed from any position in the program. The system will contain the actual dictionary with all the available functions. We will list through them in the execute function and input the parameters. This section will be different in the files you can download as I found a small bug in it. We will also use our class implementation, where we connect our UI to this system and call our commands out. So let's implement our first command, which is say command. This will be used for outputting the message to the console and we will be looking whether we got the reference to a player or no reference, in this case we will say it's outputted from console. At this moment you could have seen what happens when you forgot to register your command into a dictionary. It's always necessary, but the console will tell you. As the second command, I've decided to code the clear command. It's very useful, but it's simple. I will also make the help command, so we can get a list of all the commands available in the console. Before adding the teleport command, we should add our players into the scene. You can make any number, 
but I've chosen only two, since they are enough. After checking that our teleport command works, we can move to healing. As we set the default health to 50, we can easily see whether it's working. that calling the heal command from a player is not an issue. If he himself, the reference has to be set. 